Hey, what's up artists? I am Jonathan from Germany, that's why I have the Stuart accent. And in today's tutorial I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating your own Blender add-on. After following the tutorial you should be able to make your own add-on like this with your own panels and menus down here in the Add Mesh panel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider doing so because I will be uploading much more content in the future and you don't want to miss out on these videos. Okay, with that said and done, let's get straight into the tutorial. So after you have opened Blender, you will first go into the scripting tab to write your first script because we won't start with any add-on scripting, but with a normal Blender script. Every script starts with an import function. So you will import the Blender Python and now you can start writing your code. In this video, we won't go very in-depth in how to make your own functions and scripts. There is a pretty good tutorial by CG Cookie, and I will link to that in the description so you can watch that. Okay, um, today I just want to make a little add-on which allows me to add a number of cubes and so for that I will just gonna add a cube and copy this command line down here down here in into our little script and then delete the default cube and if I would now go ahead and run the script we can see that a cube got added. Okay so now to have control over the number of cubes we will need a loop which is going to be in our case a for i in range and then with the number in the brackets and um, it should be formatted like this. Okay, if I would now go ahead and maybe I should not go with 50, um, but with five, and if I would now go ahead and run the script, we can see that five cubes got added like this. And now to control our count further, we will add a variable called count, give it a default value of five, which automatically makes it a integer and add the variable into the brackets. So now it should work just fine. If I would run the script, we can see that still five cubes get added like this. So now what I have provided to, uh, for you is a little TXT file with an example add-on. So I will just go ahead and copy everything, make a new text by clicking this icon up here and copy everything in here. So um, just by running the script, you can see that um, we have added a little menu with just um, a simple text line and a render button, which just renders the scene. Um, it obviously makes no sense to put a render button right here, but um, you can change everything later. later. And a little example panel um, also with a render button and some design options um, which you can use for your add-on. Okay, up here we can see that all the names are defined, um, the description, the category and the name and the author. You will have to change everything to your liking. And yeah, here are all the imports. The imports you don't need, you can delete them, for example random. We won't need random uh, for our script and also vector etc we won't need this so i provided a little class for you and all these um, will come in handy later but not right now so i will just delete these variables and um, i also created a panel or two panels for you and a menu and a list um, for your class registration so you don't have to worry about the definitions uh, register and unregister. Okay, right now we're just gonna worry about our class because this is um, where our script we just wrote goes. So go over to your other text and copy the script and copy it in the execute definition. Because this is not formatted correctly, select it and press tab twice so everything stays in the definition. So right now we're just gonna leave it as it is and worry about integrating it into our panels and menus. 
So we can see that it says as bl id name mesh dot add example, but this is uh, we're gonna change that um, to mesh dot add underscore um, cube count because we can add uh, a number of cubes and create or add cubes as a label and also the label here add cubes. Okay. Nice, um, because um, this class is all, uh, still named example, we will also rename it into add cube count, and now we will have to register it again because down here in the register list is still the old class, which is um, not a part of the add-on anymore. So we can delete it and replace it with our new named class. So now the class gets registered, registered, and everything should be working just fine. Okay, to add um, to add this now to our panels, we will need the ID name, which is mesh.add underscore cube count. So copy it and go over to your panels, which are all still named example. You can of course change this, but um, you have to keep in mind that you will have to also edit your register your register list. Okay, we can here see that this row operator has the command um, render.render .render, and because we won't need any render button, um, we can just copy and uh, paste our little command in here. So, also this line we can change to um, maybe just cube. We don't need a second panel, but if you want a second panel, um, here is your blueprint for that. Um, keep in mind that you will have to have the category set uh, to the same as your first panel so it gets shown um, under each other. Okay, now um, we will just hit run script and it doesn't give us any error and you should see that now under example we can see cube and add cube and now we get uh, five cubes in our scene edit. Because we also want this uh, in our little menu right here, um, we will have to change some things in our add-on script, um, which is down here in our menu classes. So this menu is the first menu which gets shown, and then the second menu is also the second class. It should be all labeled correctly, so you don't have any um, problems with understanding what is what. And still the command is render.render, .render, but we want our mesh.add underscore cube count as the command. And if you would now go ahead and run the script, we can see that we have our add cubes um, command. Okay, um, right now there is not much behind it, it just adds five cubes, but we want to be able to change the number of cubes. To do that, we have to also change the variable in our script, which is right now hard coded to five. But we want to be, uh, but we want it to be changeable. So copy copy your variable name and paste it before your execute definition, and it has to be count colon, and then right here I provided that um, for you in the txt file, um, so you can just copy it out of here, um, count and then bpy.props.int property and uh, this way it can get changed later. So we of course want a name for that and we're just gonna name it count. The default is 5, the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 100. And then to get it also into our script we have to write self dot and then the name of the variable right here self.count and if you and if I would now go ahead and run the script, we can see that if I press add cubes, this little window here opens and we have our count value. And if I would go and and if I would go ahead and change it, we can see that a new cube gets added or removed. What you want. Um, if you would now go ahead and change the location, we can't change the number of cubes anymore. 
So this is it with the first video to how to code in Blender 2.80. And if you liked it, consider subscribing, liking, and if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. There will be a lot more videos on how to make specific scripts, but um, because but because I have shown you everything how to make an add-on, um, I don't think I will have to show you that in a another video. Okay, I hope I hope this was helpful, and we're gonna see us in the next tutorial.